You know the story. This brand brought cheap transportation to America in the mid-1980s. Over three decades, Hyundai dramatically improved quality and design. Driving dynamics remained elusive. Until now. This is the new Veloster Ram. On a racetrack, which reveals a lot about a car. N is for Nam Yang, which is Hyundai's research and development center in South Korea. N is also for the Nürburgring, where the Veloster N was further developed. And N is one letter north of M, as in the Bavarian M. We put a lot of effort to make it racetrack capable. It's not a pretender. This is a real thing. Notice the accent isn't Korean. Meet Albert Bierman. He once helmed BMW's M Performance Division. Now he's the Executive Vice President for Vehicle Testing and High Performance Development at Hyundai. In other words, he's making driving fun much more affordable. The N is about the corner, the chicane on the racetrack. So at N, we love corners. That's our main focus. We're not going for top speed or for lap time. Driving fun in the corner, that's our key story. And so every Hyundai N car has to be a real corner rascal. At the press launch, staged at Thunder Hill Raceway Park outside of Sacramento, California, were driving stock Veloster Ns with a single enhancement, upgraded brake rotors that will be available at Hyundai dealerships. The circuit is available. So is an autocross course. To keep costs down, Bierman's team developed high-performance components, like the brakes, in-house. Walking up to the end, you'll notice the red accents, of course, but other functional enhancements include a new grill, LED headlights, proper venting for the engine and binders, plus this that doubles the downforce. But wait, there's more. The adjustable suspension is active in all modes. There's more oomph, too. Veloster's four-cylinder is upgraded to a turbocharged two-liter engine. Normally pumping out 250 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque. But go with the performance package and it adds 25 horses, larger brake rotors, a tunable exhaust system, and upgrades the 18-inch wheels to 19s with Pirelli tires. Last but not least, there's a different torque vectoring differential that Hyundai calls the N Corner Carving Limited Slip Differential. Really, you're going to want the performance package. All that kit for only $2,000. Bringing the total cost of this loaded model to just under $30,000. Yes, with delivery. Bierman hinted his team is working on a special dual-clutch transmission. For the next couple years, the only choice is an enhanced six-speed manual with rev matching downshifts. Action is smooth and solid. The normal Hyundai drive modes are here, but the N gets its own button, and here you can go into the N-Grin control system. Uh, their words, not mine, to adjust all sorts of parameters. So whether it's grocery day or track day, the Veloster N is mission-specific. Remember, this car is 30 grand, fully loaded. Feel free to ooh and ah. Okay, time to drive. Thunder Hill is a technical track, and this car is supposed to be very forgiving. Let's hope so. Heading out onto the circuit, the bite of the clutch is easy to find right off the bat. I'll guess the 0 to 60 time is between 5 and 6 seconds, so it will lose in a drag race against Civic Type R. First impressions, steering weight is good, very accurate, good road feel, chassis feels solid. Hyundai's goal was to make driving loads of fun for everyone, not just expert drivers, to raise heartbeats in a good way, not a scary way. Like Honda Civic Type R, Volkswagen GTI, and Ford Focus ST, the N is front-wheel drive. Rev matching downshifts, good. Bierman says a bit of torque steer was left in intentionally for the sake of feedback, though I felt little to none. Wow, okay, this is fun. As advertised, this car is very, very easy to drive. Will the Veloster N compete with an M car? <laughs> no. But consider that $30,000 price is less than what you'd pay to upgrade from a base 3 Series to an M3. Okay, this car isn't all about speed. On the straightaway, I have hit 100 miles an hour. I'm not going to do much better than that. 
After the second lap, I'm comfortable tossing the end hard and having a great time. Wow, does this car feel planted? We get four laps. In that time, it's hard to know how much of the driving dynamics come from the suspension tuning, how much is the differential, and how much results from the stability control, but it all works well as a team. Okay, this is where the car unweights. Handles it pretty well. I'll admit to making a few mistakes. But because the car communicates clearly, the limits are easy to feel. In other words, <laughs> I'll not be using the runoff areas today. Between the limited slip differential and all the electronics feathering in, this car is very easy to drive. I know I keep saying that, but it's the truth. This thing is a lot of fun, man. It's amazing how quickly four laps go by when you're having a blast. A quick spin on some local roads in comfort mode finds this car easy to live with as a daily driver. No sacrifice there. While the interior looks pretty much like any Veloster, there are a few differences, mainly the chairs. Dressed in grippy cloth, the bolsters hug like your favorite auntie, and you won't get lipstick on your face. This indicator tells drivers when to shift for maximum acceleration. There's some color-specific end trim and a lot of hard plastic in here. If cabin materials are important, GTI has it all over Veloster. Want a sunroof? Uh, that's not happening in the end. I never even turned on the sound system, so check that out yourself. Uh, speaking of sound, some of the adjustable engine note is artificial. A reminder that two average adults will actually fit in the back of a Veloster, though they may not be able to see much. Check out my Veloster Ultimate review for more details on this and cargo. I am going to go drive more. I do like the autocross. And Hyundai has coned off a solid course here. Apparently, a pro driver posted a run of 38.7 seconds. All right, let's go. Hope springs eternal. Torque is strong and low enough in the power band to make this run entertaining. This car is very tossable. Lots of fun. Tires are good. It slips just enough so you know what you're doing. I'm running this late in the day, and these cars have been thrashed all day long. Brakes aren't fading. That's a good thing. I do a few runs, and my best time is 42.7 seconds, so I don't beat the pro driver, but darned if I don't have a good time. So let's sum this car up. Starting at $28,000 with an adjustable suspension, it's a steal. It's comfortable on the freeway and the circuit. It's track ready the moment it leaves the dealer lot. The kind of machine enthusiasts love. Uh, the competition, not so much. Not everyone will take to Veloster's styling, but hey, it has the coupe look and four-door utility in one car. Practical? all day long. Uh, did I mention it's a bargain? Albert Bierman and team have given drivers a gift. Alphabetically speaking, the letter after N is O. The Veloster N is O. Oh, so good. A couple things before I go. Keeping things simple, the N is available in just four colors. Racing Red, Chalk White, Ultra Black, and Performance Blue, which is kind of reminiscent of the Golf Racing livery, if you remember your motorsports history. Yeah, I know, this needs to be more orange, but still. I was able to spend some time with Albert Bierman, and there's no mistaking the fact that he seems like a very happy camper in South Korea. With additional freedom to improve Hyundai, Kia, and Genesis cars, he talks like a kid that got locked in a candy store overnight. Great country, great people, great company. So uh, very enjoyable for me to work. Uh, so I never regret to make that move. I'm now in my first extension uh, working in Hyundai in Korea. And yeah, it's uh, such an enrichment for my life. The full interview uh, with him uh, is on YouTube. Uh, Hope you got something out of my look at the new Hyundai Veloster N. And if I haven't made myself clear, I believe that this is one of those cars that enthusiasts will talk about for years, sort of like the original GTI and the Mazda Miata. So if you get the chance, take one of these for a test drive. That's Driven. I'm Tom Volk.